Bloom, beloved, th this is the next thing that I want to say to you. And, and you need to take this to heart because this is, this is serious. This is real. And many of you need to hear this. There is a cause and an effect for everything that happened in our lives. There is nothing that just happens by chance. There's nothing that just happens by chance. It happens for a reason. It happens because the Most High ordained it to happen. So if your wife, if your friends, if your children, if your husband just walk away from you, let them keep on stepping. I do not care who they are. If they walk away from you, let them keep on stepping. Let them keep on walking. See, when they walk away from you, let them go. It's that simple. All is well. I do not care how attractive you may feel that you are to them. I don't care how beautiful you may think they are. I don't care how beautiful you may think their body uh, may be. Let them keep on walking. If they walk away from you, let them keep stepping. Let them go. Because the reason that they left or they walked away from you is because they were not truly joined unto you. The Most High did not truly join them unto you. See, the Most High do not have them attached to your destiny. They're not attached to your destiny. Yahweh has not tied them to your destiny. Are you all all right? See, there's a reason that it happened at this level, at this particular time in your life. There's a reason. There are people who could just walk away from you over silly, minor, little arguments. They turn it into something major. I mean, they'll come up with something stupid. Stupid. Well, girl, I just wasn't happy with him. So just let him go. Because there are times in a marriage that you may not be happy. That you may feel angry with your spouse. But that is no reason to walk away. So if they walk away from you, let them go. Go, I'm telling you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to someone right now. I know this message is speaking directly to someone right now. This is resonating on your spirit. Some of you right now saying, Tazadak, I needed this message. And I'm telling you because I'm speaking from experience. Because, again, there are times in a relationship that you may not be happy. That they may not be happy. But that's no reason to become a quitter and give up. Because you said for better... Or for worse. Understand that. Understand that. So if they just walk away from you, let them go. I don't want you to call them. Don't write them. Don't email them. Just let them go. All is well. That is the simple phrase that will get you through this. This little phrase will keep you moving through the spirit. Praise be the most high that they left. See, I'm reaching someone here today. Just let them go. Just let him go. The spirit is directing this message through me. And someone listen to me right now needed to hear this message. Don't try to convince them to love you. Don't try to convince them how much you love them. If they want to walk away from you, let them step. Did you hear me? You say, Tyler Doc, you're talking division. The most high is all about love. No, I'm not talking to division. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The scriptures say this. Watch this. Watch this. First John 2 and 19. It says, they went out from us, but they were not of us. See, they left you because they was not truly joined on to you by the most high Yahweh. God did not join them on to you. They were just a story, a part of a story in your life. And that part of your story is over. First, watch this. First John 2 verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, if they was joined on to us truly by the Most High, they would not, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they, that 
they might be made manifest, that it might be made manifest that they was not of us. So although you may have married them, it was not the destiny of the Most High for them to remain with you. I'm forgive me if I'm getting a little passion about this, but this is a passionate subject, and many of you need to hear this. So if your husband leave, sister, don't get weak. Don't get on your knees and beg. If your wife leaves, brother, don't beg her to stay. Let them go. Let them walk. They didn't just leave by chance. It was not in Yahweh's plan for him or her to be a part of your destiny. They left because he or she was not joined on to you. So let them step. It's just that their part, their chapter in your life, in the story of your life is over. And you must know when someone is a part. You must, you must know when someone's part and your life story is over. If they left, it was no accident. If they could just walk away from you, they don't truly love you. If you tried to make it work and it didn't work, it's no accident. It was not part of the Most High's plan. For you to remain with them. It was part of the Most High's plan to get them out of your life. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear me, sister? So, if you know that the Most High Yahweh wanted them to remain with you, that he would make it happen. But if it brings you misery, bitterness, and so on and so forth, and you keep trying and trying and trying, and they just keep you bringing you misery and bitterness, and just keep promising you and making you promise, and breaking your promise, and going back on their word, and their word don't mean anything, and as soon as they get upset, all of the promises that they made to you go out of the window and they just blame you? Let them go. Let them walk. They want to go. Let them walk. Because they don't realize I'm giving you the most important thing that I could actually give you more important than money. I'm spending my life with you. I'm making a decision to spend my life with you. And you want to walk away? So let them walk. Brother, let them walk. Sister, there is no greater bond than me spending my life with you. Being committed to you. And you want to walk away? Shalom. See ya. See, most people do not understand the power of being joined together. So I'm going to ask you, brother, what is your destiny? I'm going to ask you, sister, what is your destiny? What is your destiny tied to? You know, you can tell when someone is tied to your destiny. It's something about the way that they talk to you that nourishes your spirit. It's something about the way when they embrace you, it nourishes your soul. See, that's destiny. But some people are so weak that they cannot make it pass being happy. Some people leave because they say, well, I just wasn't happy. I just wasn't happy. They can't stay and work it out. They can't push through the difficult times. They can't push beyond the pain. Because at the end of the pain, there's peace and contentment of mind. This is where the beauty is showing up. The Most High said he puts you through the furnace. So how foolish is it that someone ends a marriage simply because they're not happy? You know, some people in marriage because of um, adultery. Yeah, well, that's justifiable. Um, but because you're just not happy? You have a responsibility to make yourself happy. But, you see, 
No one is happy all of the time. Hear me well, brothers. Hear me well, sisters. Hear me well, beloved. Listen up, family. No one, no one is happy all of the time. No one's going to ever be happy in a relationship all of the time. See, the person that keep living because they are not happy or quit, should I say, they keep living the same old paradigm by quitting because they're not happy. They never finish anything. So they keep carrying this around with them, this unhappiness and this bitterness. They never finish. They are quitters and they keep quitting. They keep quitting. They keep quitting their um, marriages. They quit, keep quitting on their goals, their destinies. They keep quitting um, so much that they have lost respect for themselves. And because they don't have respect for themselves, they cannot properly respect and love others. See, I'm not telling you to be a whip. But quitters are never ultimately happy because they're always quitting. And that quitting becomes a habit and they go throughout their lives being quitters. So, you know, you are so good at telling other people how they should live their lives. You got your cousin, they're trying to tell you, give you advice. But check out their life. Your mother is trying to give you advice, but she's single. Your family is trying to give you advice, but they're not happy. So they're so good. You have these people that's so good at telling other people what to do to fix their lives and their marriages, but your life, their life, is a wreck. Is a wreck. Why? And you, you don't finish because You've been a quitter all of your life. So if there is someone around you and they just constantly keep complaining and putting you down, it's because they are down most of the time, beloved. It's because they're down most of the time. So you got to kick the losers the hell out of your life you got to kick them out their negative energy will bring you down to where they are and if you keep them around you will be depressed and miserable just like them life is short i don't know if i'll be here tomorrow beloved life is short and they will ruin your life so I want you to ask a question. I'm going to bring this to a close. I'm going to bring this to a close. I want you to ask a question. Ask yourself this question. Are the people around me giving me something back? Are they giving something back to me? Do they add something of value to my life? Or is it just a one-way relationship where you just give, 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 and they just take, take, take? Is it a give, take relationship equally on both sides? Or is it just... A one-sided relationship. Or are they adding something of value to your life? Ask that question. If not, kick them to the freaking car. They are ruining your life. Cut them out of your life and stay motivated. It may be difficult for a while, but... You cannot grow with negative leeches around you. They would take and take and take until they suck the life out of you. And that will cause you stress and stress will aid you and it will make you depressed. So if they're holding you back, cut them off. Cut them off. I do not follow trends. I said trends. I was not built to be normal. To go to work and work a nine to five. I was not built to do that. That is not part of my destiny. I realize why I'm here. And I must leave a legacy behind. And anyone. Any person. That gets in the way. Of trying to prevent me. For what my creator. 
has destined me to be has got to go. My commitment, my obsession with being the potion that the Most High has destined me to be is what I live for. And anyone that's destined to be on that journey with me will understand that there's times that we may undergo struggle. That times that we may have to suffer a little bit. And anyone that is not willing to travel down that journey with me and try to deter me from that has to be cut off from my life. So with that, brothers and sisters, you actually been under the sounds of Taza Doc. This message came strictly through the spirit. I know many of you out there really needed this message. Share this message. Do me a favor. Share this message. Write in the video comments. If this message touched you. If you needed to hear this message. And share this message with as many people that you can. Because there's some people out there right now that need this message. Because people keep breaking up, separating, hurting each other. And then there's people that want to walk over you. You're no one's doormat. Don't allow people to wipe their dirt on your face. Don't be anyone's doormat. You got to set boundaries. I'm Taza Doc. And this is my view of your my reality. Shalom. Kwam Yasha'awa. Kwam Yasha'awa. Share this message. Share this message. Make sure that as many people hear this message as possible. Son and Wolf. Shalom.